Question 7. So, um, A is just these numbers here. B are all the odd numbers, but both of these, A and B, are selected out of our universal sets, out of these numbers here. So, we've got to um, list the members of A union B. That means A or B. Okay, A or B. So, A or B, so all of A, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or an odd number. So, which ones are left over? Well, we've also got 7 and 9. So, our answer for part A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 and 9. These numbers here are either in A or they are in B. Now, for part B, we're now looking for a set C such that A intersection C equals 4, 5. Now, this means AND. These numbers are both in A and in C. The only numbers that are in A and C are 4 and 5. So, what must be in C? Well, 4 and 5 must be in C because 4 and 5 are in A and C. Now, looking at the numbers in A, um, 1, 2, 3, and 6 cannot be in C because we're told these numbers here are in A and C, and that doesn't include the 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, 1, 2, 3, and 6 cannot be in C. Now, however, we know two more numbers are in C, in addition to the 4 and the 5, which are coming out of our universal set. So, our other two numbers that must be in C, you take your pick out of 7, 8, 9, and 10. Any two of these will do. I've chosen 7 and 8. Okay, so what we're saying is these are the members of C, and these are the members of A, the only numbers that are in A and in C are 4 and 5.